Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we'll talk about Xpeng Incorporated, ticker name XPEF. Well, uh, we see today we had a uh, quiet decline, finishing it uh, currently at 1878 at the moment, as we speak. This is a ca daily candle uh, chart pattern we can see. And as always, we have three moving averages here depicted moving average uh, 20, 50, and 200, being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. Also, you see here on the top. RSI and the bottom um, MACD histogram. So immediate question, what's next? The answer is uh, wait until it settles because we are actually experiencing here very strong decline. All three moving averages are heading downwards. What does it mean? It means that they, their second derivative is actually uh, at the moment is going to be higher than zero. So there's a positive uh, acceleration mean downwards, meaning it's actually it's going down for us. It's a negative news, and we can expect only a further decline. The question is, how much further decline we can expect? Uh, we will now answer. But also of other declining, let's say elements, is an RSI turning to negative wave. Still uh, didn't finish it yet. Of, of course, can bounce back quickly. But most importantly, is uh, MACD histogram actually is starting its negative wave. We always know that one of the indications of rebounds is that MACD either doing um, cross from the minus to plus like uh, actions we saw uh, like here you can see examples of it uh, it's here actually also caused the price uh, rebounds uh, or um, like i don't know here if you have uh, here if you have price price rebound so it's from minus to plus or when it's at the minimum like here we saw by beginning before beginning of february also having the price rebounds uh, etc. It's not always given, but usually it's one of the indication points to watch. Also, you see here in the middle of March, also this very beautiful rebounds we had here. So we still need to wait for this. And this means uh, it's wait to buy, but the question is until how long to wait and where we can expect the first entry opportunity. For that, let's quickly look on the history and you can clearly see that we had a very nice descending channel here being formed previously, and that would be our guide for actually entering opportunity because if you look at this channel quite carefully that's the channel let's a little bit demagnify here to be able to see better and if you do this why is it important because this channel is clear support descending support line and this would be the area to buy so actually if you want to buy uh, this would be our area this would be where we are looking at and that's we will indeed note as our first entry level uh, if you look historically, there is nothing we can um, anchor to because, yeah, there is no real support resistance to buy. We're already almost at the ever low. So we just need to really to focus only on this descending line. And this would be actually in this area. Let's say, uh, just let's hit it like this. So that would be first um, level where we can enter into this position then at the rebounds we can say if you would ask yourself uh, what would be the selling point uh, then as a guide again this is a dynamic still developing chart so we cannot really give exact numbers but as a guide you can use moving average um, 20 here and whenever in the proximity of it is just to sell so I would actually use this one as a guideline maybe it will be declining so whenever from here we jump back in the vicinity of it just sell this would be the first entry opportunity of course if we pierce further in a very harsh action then the bottom of this channel actually would be another a very strong entry opportunity i don't even think we go that low we don't be that lucky but if happens we can again uh, keep it uh, from one third to the bottom so this would be the second level where we can buy and then have our uh, rebound so here two clear points uh, levels to buy and then actually sell at the rebounds and again uh, selling guide would be as i said uh, nothing but moving average 20 at this moment because this is still uh, let's say downwards developing chart and we need to use moving average 20 as a guideline as a resist similarly we had previously you see like always for example in march we had rebounds moving average 20 clear sell opportunity again here by may rebounds moving average 20 in the vicinity sell opportunity so usually it's not very strong but it's very good indication if you are a quick trader within channel trader before you have a breakthrough 
uh, sell at moving average 20. Of course, whenever you have a breakthrough of the channel, like we saw from uh, mid of May to, ju uh, to July, then of course you wait until you go to higher moving averages, like moving average 200 in this, case, in this case, but still we are too far to develop this pattern. So as I said, use previous channel as a guideline, as a support levels, at the first second rebound spy and sell in the vicinity of moving average 20. That's the way to, to trade with XPeng, very volatile, of course, very risky, but also might be very profitable. And as always, we advise to buy non-linearly uh, at our trade uh, videos, what does it mean? Actually, it means that uh, we buy with different portions. So the first level in this case would be buying with one and the second with two. It's a three portions play here, meaning that all your money you have and you would like to trade here, you can split and free, then you can buy with one portion of those money in the first channel and with two portions if it goes to the second channel. And then again, you sell in the vicinity of moving damage 20. At least that's what we do. As always, this is not a financial advice officially, it's just what we do. We just uh, explain you or tell you what we are doing. If you like this, um, our strategy, which is actually quite nice, I think quite profitable for this moment. Well, uh, this is how we trade. With this being said, that's all for XPeng, XPay. Um, good luck with it if you like it. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Press the bell button, this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for USB stocks. See you at another episode of Stocks.